It turns out all of our worst fears are true. Elon wasn't just pulling a prank on us, and instead he is the greedy little monster we all already knew he was. He took his grimy little fingers and ripped our hearts out of our chest once again. His greed is insurmountable, and today we're going to talk about it. And of course, if you don't know, it's about X. Twitter is officially rebranding to X. And I thought it was a joke. Honestly, I thought this was going to be like a two-day thing, just like all of Elon's weird inquiries are. And then it would dissipate. It would go back to being normal. Because this is insane. I mean, rebranding a whole app just because you're obsessed with a letter, is it's, it's insane. Now, Elon has some other reasons that we're going to delve into a little bit later about why he wants to rebrand. Um, they're all stupid, but we're, we'll get into it. But it's real. I mean, I opened up my phone this morning and... And to my surprise, it, it was no longer the blue bird I always knew. It, it was a, a black background and, and Elon's favorite letter that he named his child over. Um, so, you know, it's just pretty sad. I mean, this is what it looks like on your home screen now. It's ugly. It's not cool. And, and Twitter's dead. I mean, I don't think we're going to get this back. Um, of course, it's just a social media app. So it's not the biggest deal in the world. I liked Twitter. I've used it for a very long time. I enjoy my time on Twitter. And, um, you know, my last name is Bird. So maybe I have some sort of tie towards Twitter. I don't know. But the blue bird's gone. I mean, and it's just pretty sad because um, Twitter's been through a lot of different changes. And, and I haven't even been around for all of them. But you can see here, like, there's a lot of design that goes into this little blue bird. And, and, and it's cool. And it's, it's gotten all this lingo over time. Without Twitter, there would have never been tweeting or retweets or quote tweets. And there's all this lingo that is associated with the app because the app has a cool name. And it actually has a cool idea, too. I mean, it's like little birds chirping to each other, and that's us. I mean, we're, t we're chirping to each other on a social media platform. And it's sad to watch this little blue bird get stabbed, just like he's stabbing the hearts of all of us. Because I thought Twitter was creative, and I, I thought it was a nice change of pace. And, uh, you know, of course becoming a bit of a cesspool and maybe has been for a while now but the app design and the creativity behind it was worth keeping and to watch it get destroyed is pretty sad and people are talking about it i mean um of course they're noticing the app that they're on is different and, and then the, their phone screen looks different and 162,000 tweets just about elon musk i mean People are sad, and people are talking about it. It's not just going under the radar. This is kind of big news, especially for um, for someone who already doesn't have such a great reputation with this app, just completely rebranding it. It's like he just doesn't care anymore. And Elon Musk is just kind of like toying with us at this point. I mean, I thought he was joking, but he really wasn't, and he's even given himself this little X tag, um, which is just weird. He's obsessed with being popular um, on this app, and he thinks that rebranding will maybe just like sift out all the people who don't like him. Um, because if they don't like his app, they'll just leave. I, I don't see that really happening, but it could. It might just tank the platform's average users, and then suddenly no one's using the app anymore. I don't know. And and he's he likes to brag about it. And and he's been showing um, his new his new brand atop buildings and, and in their HQ. And you know, it's weird. It's super strange. So why is Elon Musk doing this? I mean, other than the fact he's obsessed with a letter that he named his child about. Why, why would he rebrand re an app that was pretty successful, you know, on top of letting it tank and crash in the past? I mean, this could be his retribution arc because he is probably in plenty of debt. We don't know for sure, but Twitter looked like it was dying for a little while there while advertisers were pulling out. And maybe Elon thinks that rebranding is going to give him solace and repay some of that advertisement tank that he lost with Twitter. Elon sees the oasis, the obelisk of X in the future, and he really believes in it. And I think it's a risk, but he thinks it's going to turn out like what China has. China right now is dominated by an app called WeChat. It's an everything app, and we'll get into more about what that means, but Elon thinks he can manage to make his app just like that. And Elon's always been strangely passionate about freedom of speech with the app. I mean... He was sure that Twitter was suppressing cons the conservative audience on the app, and it may as well have been. Who really knows? But what I do know now is that there's a lot more racism on Twitter, and, and, it's, and it's gone down. But, I mean, he's so obsessed with freedom of speech that he was allowing hate speech, and there is a difference. 
And, 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 and as much as he's obsessed with freedom of speech, he also blocks people who talk bad about him. So, I mean, Elon doesn't really seem to care too much about that. But what he does care about more than just freedom of speech is making money. And he thinks that Twitter can turn from these short little quips of tweets that are released to more of a longer form content platform as well as maybe even a financial world. And some people really are sticking with Elon on this one. They think this is the future and they have a lot of hope and 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 believe this is a good idea. Uh, while others, as this as this tweeter right here says, say that they're never getting they're never giving Elon Musk control over their banking. I mean, he's a very prominent figure, the richest man in the world, but he's made a lot of mistakes and 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 he baited a bunch of people into buying Dogecoin and a lot of people lost a lot of money and not a lot of people trust him anymore. I mean, and for good reason. And so if you can't get people to trust your app for your finances, then you can't make your app for finances. It just won't work. You need to have a lot of people putting in their, their information and trusting your site. And if you don't have that kind of trust, it's never going to work. So why is he so convinced this is going to work though? Well, it's because China has WeChat. And WeChat is the everything app. As you can see here, there's different interfaces for parts of the app. It looks like there's food ordering, there's instant communication, and there's banking. It's insane. And, and WeChat is pretty much a monopoly in China. More than half their population uses the app almost every single day. And not a lot of other alternatives are available in China. And Elon Musk sees this as an opportunity. Because WeChat used to be an instant message app sort of like Twitter is now really just a social media kind of app with small tweets, but it changed and morphed into something huge that has a monopoly over the Chinese population now. And so this company is called Tencent. I'm sure you've heard of them. They also have control over, over huge online gaming outlets such as Riot Games and Epic Games, which I'm sure you've heard of before. And so Elon is sort of kind of like Tencent in a sense because he owns Tesla and he owns SpaceX. Tesla is driving. SpaceX is space exploration. And he acquired Twitter for the better or worse. And now he has social media. What he doesn't have is banking yet. And I think he wants to get that. And I just don't see it working. So what can we take from all of this? Well, Elon has been killing this app from the very start, from allowing hate speech on the platform to Twitter Blue making the app pay to win, and now a complete rebranding. It seems like Twitter might be on its way down the toilet. And there's already a competitor, Threads. Zuckerberg is also power hungry and wasn't satisfied with Facebook and Instagram and, and Meta being a VR chat, whatever he's trying to do over there. Um, so there is already a competitor, but unfortunately, Threads has lost half of its users. Uh, it may change after this Twitter rebranding, um, and it's still, that's a lot of people. That's 50 million active people on Threads, and, and, and the whole Doja Cat incident that happened just a few days ago actually took place on Threads. It was one of the first times I really saw some drama stir, and it wasn't from Twitter for once. So maybe Threads will replace Twitter, and maybe this is the start of something now. Now that Elon has rebranded, I mean, maybe Threads will take it over. I don't know for sure, and I would love to know what you guys think. Are you guys going to switch to Threads now that Twitter's dead, or are you going to stick to Twitter and just pretend it's Twitter, even though it says X on the home screen now? I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I, I don't really use Threads, to be completely honest with you. I like my Twitter still, and this is kind of the sad part to me. Twitter's been here for a long time, and I've been using it for a long time, and I enjoyed the app. It was fun for me to use, and... And, and I don't really want to stop using it, to be completely honest with you. I mean, it's just something I can check up throughout the day and get my news and entertainment from. And it seems like a good app, but, you know, it might be ruined. And if there's big changes to come in the future with this rebranding, then I might stop using the app. And uh, who knows? Maybe X will actually save us all from the demon aliens coming to attack us because uh, apparently they're living in, in the United States as well right now. Anyway, um, Elon Musk is weird, super strange guy. And um, he's probably going to block me on Twitter after I say that. So uh, have a good one.